The case is closed, but questions remain. There's new insight on the deadly dog attack involving a Humane Society of St. Lucie County volunteer. The Fort Pierce Police Report raises safety questions about what can be done to prevent another tragedy. WPTV News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts in Fort Pierce with more. Megan. Michael Kelly, this new report shows many of the gruesome details surrounding the death of Christine LaCory, most of which we are not reporting so as to be sensitive to her loved ones. But volunteers who have seen this report tell me the report leaves them with many questions. A big one. Why did it take so long for someone to find her? Fort Pierce police giving more information about Christine LaCory's final hours. Their report says she showed up to volunteer sometime around noon last Thursday and was last seen alive between 1140 and 1220 by the front desk and a volunteer who told her she should walk the pitbull mix Amos because he had not been walked yet. After that, no one reported seeing LaCory until she was found dead nearly two hours later when another volunteer came in. That volunteer found her body near the fence, mauled in the face, head and arm. He put the dog with a bloody face in a kennel. Then the report says the executive director of the shelter, David Robertson, called 911. We found a, a lady lying in, the, in our the yard of it. OK, and is she awake? No. Is she breathing? No, I don't believe she is. She already had no pulse. The medical examiner said she died from excessive blood loss. You know how long she's been out there for? You have no idea? I don't know. No. Okay. Do you want to do C do you want to try CPR? I can give you instructions. Uh, if no. You want. He's um she's mutilated. Uh the report also mentions no cameras captured the incident, making it harder to learn what led up to the attack. Police also found volunteers don't have to sign in. The executive director told police the dog had been friendly before and never aggressive. And again, that dog has been euthanized. I did speak briefly tonight with a volunteer who found Ms. LaQuarrie, who said that she was extremely sweet, clearly an animal lover. He says this incident has not kept him from volunteering. Reporting live in Fort Pierce, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.